I initially selected UBC because of its very good reputation and um, I actually looked internationally for my education and ultimately ended up choosing UBC because of the product that they offered and the kind of education they had. And with grad studies I also looked around at some different universities but felt that UBC offered me the specific type of project that I wanted. Mm. I had autonomy um, in the type of project that I did and that was very important to me. Uh, rather than being led in my research I wanted to create uh, education that gave me independence and independent thought and that's what I got when I came here. Yes, I took about six months off uh, before I entered grad studies, so I thought about what I wanted to do and I uh, realised that the reason I'd come back to school was because I actually wanted to do grad studies, so that decision was made uh, relatively quickly and then uh, entered into grad studies in the, the January intake and uh, was out in the field working on my project within four months. Uh, I worked with the trout and forested stream systems uh, because in British Columbia we have a lot of forests and uh, streams running through those systems and a large amount of salmon uh, were very interested in the interaction between forestry streams and some wanted production uh, from the commercial through to the recreational and just protecting our biodiversity values so I worked on the conservation side of things looking at the survival of trout in these small systems. My previous experience uh, was in science when I first left school they didn't have the type of projects that are available to us today in education and uh, I actually went into food technology, so I had a science background, very much an analytical background. And then when I came to Canada, I worked in the marine industry. And it was because of the hybrid of science and having a concern for the natural world, because I was working within the natural world, that I decided to come back to school and I merged those two disciplines together in my graduate studies. So I combined my outdoor and aquatic experience with my science, which is ultimately what I move, will move into with the career that I that I decide to do. So I didn't have a lot of experience with trout per se, but I was used to being outside and so I was pretty happy doing research outside. I think uh, one, of the, one of the greatest reasons to do grad studies is the type of relationships that you can garnish through friendship and also through camaraderie in the science that you do. So you can all sit around and talk about something that's of great interest to you. And that's very enriching because I think you realise this sort of this need where you, I was feeling slightly starved intellectually and so being able to um, embrace all the different ideas of other people and also other cultures is I would say one of the most rewarding aspects that I found in grad studies. I've now got friends all around the world and uh, it's interesting to hear their take or their perspective on how we look at the concerns that we have in this world as opposed to just having a, a niche environment. And I, th and I would encourage people, just for that particular reason, to go into grad studies, to, to broaden your horizons. Well, Vancouver is obviously a beautiful place, um, and whilst it has a cost associated with living in the city, it is known for being one of the more expensive cities in Canada, but it is also known for being one of the most beautiful cities. And so you can go hiking and play on the beach and do many things that don't require money. with a great transport system. I'm biased because I decided to immigrate to Vancouver and I've lived in uh, several different cities around the world and I, I selected Vancouver and I was raised in Auckland which is also a nice city and I choose to live here so um, I would say that you want to, can have one heck of a lot of fun in Vancouver, there's great nightlife um, and if you're into the great outdoors then you'll definitely be sad to leave if you have to leave and uh, many of my friends have been quite sad at completing their studies and then having to go elsewhere so I can only recommend Vancouver